Hi guys, welcome to Marnice TV Zealots, where we're staying crossed. <laughs> my name is Denise, and my partner in crime is Mary, and we're here to recap the episode, The, the Course of True Love Never Did Run Smooth. <laughs> so Mary, say hi. Hi, I hope that you enjoy this recap. Um, give us a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe uh, so you can keep up with us for the rest of these episodes. I really loved this episode. Things are moving. I'm really excited about it. What do you think, Denise? I loved it too. And things are moving fast. And, you know, I had some hiccups and I was, you know, but <laughs> let's just jump right into it. So yeah. the episode opens up with Aeschylus. Um, remembering a conversation he had with his dad um, regarding him learning to be a leader. And he just basically calls him out and lets him know that he knows all about him and Rosalind's relationship. Mm -hmm. And King Light was, well, Prince Aeschylus at the time <laughs> was not prepared. <laughs> no, that was his, the theme of his arc this episode was him trying to be king and everybody else is telling him how to do it. He just can't. Right. right. And that goes right into him at his conversation with Princess Isabella. She's letting him know, look, we need to have this dinner and meet with, you know, the big, the who's who of Verona. And he's like, no, we don't need to do this. Father never did it this way. And she's like, wait, father didn't need to do it this way because he was actually a king and you over here being King White. Ah, snap. <laughs> so I mean she is yet schooling him on how to do things which goes back to last week's episode when the king had her make the decree about murdering if a capulet murders a Montague or vice versa that they would be put to death like she gets things done and she handles the business yeah I, I feel that kind of sibling rivalry is going on with both sets of siblings, but Isabella definitely is like, there's only one crown here. And I feel like in the back of her head, she's like, and I should be the one wearing it. Of um, course. I definitely of course hear that in her head, but, oh man, she's a complex character. I can't wait to see more from her. <laughs> but then the, uh, our other, our favorite sister is Livia Rosaline. Oh. Okay, so... <laughs> of course, they've gone on in uh, the Prince S. King Light. I'm just, that's what we'll say. King Light has decreed that Ros Rosalind marry Benvolio. And so, you know, everybody's agreed, well, except the two <laughs> <laughs> who are to be with. Um, so the Lord Capulet takes her, takes Rosalind home. And he tells her she's now going to be sleeping in Juliet's room. And he um, is all set to lock her in. I was not having it. I was right there with Rosalind. Like, I'm like, no, 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 no. This is not okay. No, not at all. <laughs> Man. And to boot, he sends in Livia to get this. Be her <laughs> servant. Like, I had all sorts of feelings about that, especially because Livia ain't woke. And she was like, oh, well, I mean, you will be a lady. You will be married. Maybe you could take me with you to be your servant. And she's like, what? 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 Please. So you're just going to willingly be a slave just as long as you can get up out of there. Thank you. Okay, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> Rosalind's like, look, I'm not with any of this, what you're talking about. I am yet woke, and I know my future does not entail this. So I'm going to need you to go and speak to, get a message to Princess Isabella, because she's going to have to help me get out of this thing. Right. Mm -mm. And so, yes, Princess shows up giddy and ready. Like, I was like, okay, like she came a running. <laughs> So, as soon as she comes in, she's like, oh, oh my gosh, Rosalind, thank you for calling me. I'm like, 
I mean, they might not have been in those words, but that's what she said. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> you were a little bit, you know, excited. Anyway, I really think that Princess Isabella has a crush on her. Yeah, both both of them might like her. I mean, you never know. Mm, the, the plot thickens. So now it's not only the sister, who, not only the brother, but the sister, Walter, and Ben Folio. Like, everybody. Okay. Just, you got a love rectangle going on now. Right? I don't even know how to count it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what? This is just going to be our new harem ship. Anyway. Oh, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Okay. So not only has Rosalind been locked in her room to make sure she maintains her virtue, Benvolio is also being <sighs> cock blocked. I'm sorry. That's probably not what I should have no, said. No, that's fine. I'm just mad that he is a high key O. Just <laughs> I, I give up on him. I can't ship them. He's over here with harlots and stuff. Jeez. Well, I didn't see that going in. Like, oh yeah, that it was clear. <laughs> it was clear. So, um, yeah, his uncle was like not having it. He was not allowing him to go in and be a whore. Like, he's like, no, zip it up, step outside. You're going to remain chaste until your wedding night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> and you can imagine how that went over with Benvolio. Like, he was not happy. <laughs> okay, so then. We have <laughs> we have Livia and Paris. So, what do you have to say about them, Mary? I don't know because Livia, we don't know enough about her, and we don't know enough about Paris either. All I know was that Paris was supposed to marry Juliet, and one was tried to kill Romeo. The Romeo stabbed him. And now, like, Livia has to, like, burn his wound closed. Which he looks elated. <laughs> Maybe he's the sub we've been waiting for. Like, I, I don't know. Ooh, okay. Um, so, yes. <laughs> I mean, I ship it. Like, I'm not going to lie. I I, I'm totally ready. You know? <laughs> I could see some torture chambers in, in there somewhere. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. we were waiting for Paris to wake up, and he does. Yeah. And he's like, you saved my... First, he thinks it's Juliet. And she's like, no, honey, no. Mm -mm, I'm yeah. Olivia. Like, eight That is who I am. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm correct. And so he's like, well, you're saving my life. He's excited about this thing. I just, I see it coming. We got to get the ship name together. I, I know. I threw a couple of things around. We'll see what sticks. Okay, so next they go to this dinner that we spoke, uh, that Princess Isabella told uh, King Light that he had to throw. Right, right. And all of the who's who's are, who's who are there and <sighs> Lord Capulet and the gowns, the yes. spread, the red and the green, the gold accents. I was living. You like the little, that. the Rosalind's dress, like yes. the, um, the big <laughs> Isabella dress. I'm ready. No, no, no. Because I had to tweet about, I'm like, she looking so good in this dress. She got to have all her booze just jump her. I'm telling you, it was... She was, I mean, everybody looked amazing, but like those two smacks. Um, yes. Anyway, go on. Romeo on. even had to come up to her, like, I, you know, I need to check on my intended, you know. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, you're not well, sweet. He's over here smacking his lips. She's like, what are you doing? And I was like, Rosalie is all of us right now. I was like, get away from her, get away. <laughs> anyway, I'm okay, I'm okay. 
So yeah, so her and Prince S, I mean King Light. I, I just want to call him some of everything. End up going off together and having a wonderful conversation with each other about how you know he can't handle her being with another man, and he's gonna just just whisk her away and she's going to become queen and everything is going to be great and sunshine and rainbows and blue skies. Mm. And we knew he was lying then. Oh. Well, I mean, I felt like he was being genuine. He really thought that this could happen. Yeah. He kind of like had a, a moment, a temporary insanity. Like I, I didn't think that he was lying, but I do think what he said was completely naive. Like, you know it's not gonna work. Why are you saying this? Something bad is gonna happen, you know? And you know, the two bad things happen. So, I <laughs> Right? So, <laughs> let's jump right into it. Like, <laughs> Mark Capulet meets up with uh, the, uh, he's the, the head of the guy that's building the chapel, stonemason. Yes. Yeah. And so he, you know, is asking him why isn't it closer to being done or finished because he wants to have the wedding there. Mm -hmm. And the guy was like, well, I told you weeks ago, you know, we need more money. <laughs> you know, it always come down to that dollar. Always. always. <laughs> and so he's like, look, I've given you everything that I have to give. And so the guy was confused because he's like, you're a man of means. Mm -hmm. So how is it that you don't have the money? Yeah, he's like, you're not going to blame me uh, for not getting this done when you're not the one paying. He's like, I'm not going to take the fall for you. And that's when... <laughs> oh! <laughs> he he should have never mentioned fall near a cliff. Like, Ooh. no, 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 no. <laughs> you don't do that. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh. Push him I, right I didn't think he was gonna push him, but he did. He pushed him all the way overboard to his death. That was a mess. And did not think he didn't give two shakes. Like, no, he like didn't. yes, I did it. I'm a murderer, and that's what we do over here in Verona. Man, I was I was blown away. I didn't think that was gonna happen. Me either. Wait too and many. Then we have. Romeo's body being mutilated and just now, there was a guy that was with a hood, so you didn't know who it was, even though I I don't know, but we'll see. But they chop up Romeo's body into pieces and leave his head in one place. It says death to all Montagues, and I was just like, ah. So of course, Prince King Light. <laughs> <laughs> Walks in. You know, I'm trying to bring him a, a step above the Prince Esculus. Like, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm trying to get him there, but yeah. he needs help. He is not ready. He does. So he shows up and sees this mutilated body of Romeo's and the the message of death to all Montagues. And he's just like, oh my God, well, now I can't. Like, I can't break up this marriage between the Capulets and the Montagues when this is the only thing that's going to give us peace. I saw the hurt and the devastation in his face. True. He realized what he was going to have to do. And even when he was sitting in the room looking out the window, he looked disgusted. Like he looked actually sick, sickened by what he had to do. But then he had to take it a step too far. Like, Rosaline, Rose, Rosalind woke up happy and just overjoyed that she was going to be with her man. Like, this is what she's dreamed of. Yep. And he ripped that rug from under her. Oh, we her. Ooh, father. I was angry. Like, he didn't only just, just tell her, no, we cannot move forward with this. It would have been simple. I found Romeo's body mutilated, and of course, it's going to be blamed on the Capulets. Exactly. And this is going to start all out war. I need you to follow through with this. She would have called BS. She would have been mad, but I mean, 
he destroyed her with that. I'm going to just, you know, if you don't do this, then I'm going to tell everyone you're a whore and you're a harlot and you'll never yeah. have any station in life. Like what happened to all your love and respect for me? What happened to you wanting me to be better and have a better station? Blah, 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 whatever the message was. <laughs> Denise has feelings about this. <laughs> I was, I was hurt. No, it was. I was. I'm like, um, <laughs> that Tyra Banks. I was rooting for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's true. I I was so mad at him this whole episode. Just, I was like, "What you king? Just, just be a king. You know, you can't but do it." Yeah. And then, you know, the episode ends with him beheading three people. I'm just like, why? You know what? And we need to give an honorary mention to at the dinner when his dark side came out. Yes. That guy thought he was about to, to spill all the beans and to start some mess. And he stabbed him in his hand. I was like, <laughs> <gasps> To clutch my pearls, wasn't even no pearls there. <laughs> and, <laughs> and so, in shock, but Princess Isabella. Yes. When that darkness just rose up in her, you could just see the glint in her eye when he stabbed him. She was like, yeah. Yes. She was, she was satisfied. Yeah. I, that was weird. Okay. Well, we, as you can see, we have feelings, just a lot of them. <laughs> so if you have feelings too, or we left out anything that you felt we should have discussed, leave it in the comments below. And thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Good night. Bye. <laughs>